that's too much as well welcome everyone guess what we are back my name is chase demarco and for those of you that can't see me right now i'm wearing my lab coat for the first time in a long time and there's a reason for this well a few reasons but first and foremost i did match this year finally after many years of missteps and misplaced timelines and uh well we can get into more details about that later but that's not what i'm here to talk about right now First off, this is probably going to be the first episode that we're going to record and stream video for as it's coming out. Now, we do have video for all of the or most of the past podcast episodes as well, but we have not used them before because it just took too much time to edit them and to get permissions for uh, the video is much different for some guests than the audio aspect. So this one you might see in our YouTube stream. So go to MedEd University on YouTube and find our streams there, subscribe to it. You can follow along as future episodes come out and we have them up there available in video as well. For those listening in audio land, I want to announce a couple of changes. So for those that know, I host two shows, the Medical Neminist podcast and the Rounds to Residency podcast. For those watching, you can see them on my back wall right now. Um, we are going to have some interesting changes this year. First, Rounds to Residency is still going on. We are going to leave the name there and we're going to focus on a lot of not necessarily new topics, but in new lights. So, for example, we have a couple of collaborations we're working on. We have extra resources for clinical rotations, for clinical research, how to find them, what to do, what not to do. A lot of interesting material coming up for those. Now, Medical Neminist, thinking about, and probably will have decided by the time you hear this, changing it to Med360. And the reason for that is when I started the Medical Neminist in 2019, I was really trying to focus on certain aspects of learning. First off, because I was struggling. I was having difficulty remembering things. I was having difficulty with board exam materials. And a lot of um, a lot of listeners have expressed similar angst, similar problems, whether you have a learning disability or not. It's just a lot of material that you have to cover. And what I did with that was focus on learning tactics, both from learning science and cognitive science, but also from memory champions, from those that have put practices of mnemonics and other aspects into use before. We have covered a lot of the science of learning. We've covered a lot of mnemonic techniques and tricks. We've also covered a lot of this in our book, Read This Before Medical School. I need to grow the show and I feel like I may have covered all of the topics that I can for this. Granted, I can regurgitate a lot of the same material over again. I can find guests to talk about a lot of the same material over again. And we will still cover this material from time to time. But I feel like it's plateaued in some ways. And I would like to grow. And I hope you'd like to grow with me. To do that, we want to change the name to Med360 because we want to take a 360 view of medical education. Ideas would be discussing how T education works or what some of the public policy changes that are going on and how they might affect us now in our education or later in our clinical practice. Some discussions about med tech, med ed, ed tech, and all of the other combined words that you can think of related to these topics, because not only can they help us while we're going through medical school or after we've completed medical school, but they can offer a lot of opportunities for those that might seek jobs outside of clinical practice. Obviously, we have a physician shortage here in the US. It's a constant problem. I don't think we're going to necessarily fix that by creating more doctors. We need to work on that, but that's you know a small portion of it. Public policy is another portion of it and limited residency spots and the way we just approach medical education, in my opinion, completely needs to change for that to really be situated. Also need those that are outside of academic medicine or clinical medicine to find solutions. What else is out there? 
besides just the narrow focus of what we learn in medical school or in the hospital setting. I think a lot of our problems might be solved by this 360 view of medicine. This material might also be more applicable to the non-medical students, maybe for the layperson or some of our patients. So for me to grow, for you to grow, for the show to grow, I feel like this change needs to happen. It's already happened by the time this releases, but I just want to make you aware of that in case you listen to old episodes or there's some sort of confusion about that. Being said, we have some great programming planned for this year. I also hope to rope in some of my fellow residents and instructors and um, other members of the hospital staff into a couple episodes. I'll branch out some topics that are not typical of past medical nemonist episodes. So Med360, keep an eye out for it. Also, past episodes, still great. A lot of them are still evergreen material. So go back. I always encourage you to go back and listen to some of those. Listen to ones that, ones that have a topic that is of interest to you. It's still going to be great content. And you can always reach out to us for more information, for more resources. And actually, we're starting a community. It's kind of started already, but going to act as a hub for learners and practitioners to kind of discuss topics, to connect, to network, to collaborate on projects, uh, more of that to come as well. Always encourage people to go back and listen to past episodes. I still listen to some of the past episodes myself just to refresh myself on some of the topics, on some of the skills, on some of the strategies discussed. Again, lots of great content, evergreen content, but we're going to move forward with some new topics, a broader reach as well. And hopefully we'll enjoy it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hopefully everyone will enjoy it. And more discussions and collaborations are to come. We're going to open up our community pretty soon to all of the listeners. It's a great spot that we're trying to build as a hub for instructors, for teachers, for students, for those in clinical practice to communicate, to collaborate, to ask questions, to find answers, to just grow together. Uh, basically, the goal is going to be to have a positive growing community where we can support each other, we can share resources others might not have heard about, really get outside of the box that we're usually in, that institutional box. And yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you stick with me. I hope you listen for the upcoming episodes. Um, I hope you watch some on YouTube if that's your thing, or subscribe on podcast if that's your thing. We also have collaborations for courses, for other books and podcasts, and a lot of material coming out. So stay tuned. And if you would like to participate in any way, don't hesitate to reach out. Social media on the website. All right, that's all I have for now. Have a good one. Be safe. Be well. For those that did match, congratulations. For those that didn't, stay strong. You have our support. And please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, comments, any ways that we can help you in your journey, whether that's academic or not. All right. Our back. No, that's too much. We can. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back.